Oceans are the lifeblood of our planet. And coral reef ecosystems are really the heart of places like the U.S. Caribbean. Growing up in Florida, my favorite thing to do was to strap on fins and a mask and go explore the patch reefs. Back then, the reefs were healthier and they were filled with fish. I want other kids to be able to experience this wonder and beauty, and that's why I work to protect these reefs. It's easy not to pay attention to things that are happening underwater. It's hard to see. So it's important for us to be able to shine a light and bring these things to the attention of the public as well as government and judges at times. There is a reef fish fishery in the U.S. Caribbean that targets parrotfish. Parrotfish are important because they graze the algae off the reef and that's how they protect coral. Allowing a lot of fishing for parrotfish, they're taking out the fish that are cleaning off the reef and making space for the corals to grow. And that's really what this is about at the end of the day, is protecting these corals and the habitat that they actually create. We're talking about these corals that have declined by 98%, you know, in our lifetime. We're really at a critical point for some of these reefs. The one thing we can all agree on is that the corals need more fish, the fishermen need more fish, and the people need more fish. Overfishing then becomes almost like a cancer and it starts to erode the system as a whole. The system is failing us. We're working to rebuild reefs and restore that living framework. One of the major ways that we can get our voice heard is to partner with organizations like Earth Justice, who, who take you know, what we have to say and form it into a credible argument and then get it out there. We took the National Marine Fishery Service to court because fishing for parrotfish was contributing to a pretty steep decline on two species of coral, elkhorn and staghorn coral. These two coral species provide excellent habitat, and they used to be the main reef-building corals. So because these are protected under the Endangered Species Act, we had kind of a legal hook there. As a result of the lawsuit, National Marine Fisheries is going to have to do a much better job monitoring fisheries impacts to coral reefs. The good news is that people are really paying attention now, and there are opportunities for people to take action to make sure that their kids and grandkids can still experience healthy coral reefs. There's real wonder and beauty that deserves to persist on the planet, and I think we have a real responsibility to take care of that. Coral reefs can't speak for themselves. We have to speak for them.